Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new Car Fight Vanguard video for you guys today. If you guys saw my video yesterday on Blitzco Black, I mentioned that on stream we had made a new Liel build, Liel Odium, that I thought was pretty bonkers, and I wanted to make a new video on it. When I first made Liel Odium, I wasn't really feeling her deck or more or her support. I kind of just did it because you guys asked. But another friend of mine had asked me to take another look at it and to really, really try and do something with this deck. And I think we really found the formula here. So as always, we will break down the deck, talk about the card choices, and then we'll go jump into a game. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you guys want to see me play Card Fight Vanguard live, I usually play every Tuesday. The hours have been changing because of my work schedule. I always post on Twitter, right here on YouTube, and now I've been putting my schedule on Twitch every week. So that way you guys can see when the streams are going to be. So keep an eye out for that. But enough from me. Let's jump in and talk about the deck. So up first, we have our ride line. Uh, starter doesn't really matter. We're just playing the basic starter that comes with the package. But from grade one on, it obviously does matter. Steam made in Tiglap. When this unit is placed from riding a grade zero, or reveal a grade three card with the elements card name from the ride deck and put a destined timepiece token into your order zone. The destined timepiece token is basically how you get the whole is the whole mechanic of the deck. Life cessation Colossus, when this unit is placed from riding Steam Maiden Tiglat, put a card from your hand into your Regos gauge and then draw two cards. And then of course, Liel Odium herself. During your turn, all your front row rear guards get plus 5,000 power for each copy of Distorted Bane in your Regos gauge. Distorted Bane is like the most important card in the main deck. When this unit attacks, Soul Bless one, choose a card from your hand or rear guard and put it face up as a regress gauge. If you put a card, this unit gets triple drive until end of turn. And then Divine Skill at the end of the battle, this unit attack. If you have five or more regress gauges, discard two cards from hand and you get an additional turn. Until the end of that additional turn, this unit gets minus one drive and the ride phase and main phase are not performed during that additional turn. So, her divine skill, she gets six full power attacks. Though you do on the on the additional turn, it's crazy because if your opponent gets any damage triggers on the first turn, they lose them for the second turn, obviously. But you also lose like persona ride power. But you still get your draw for turn. You don't get any energy because you skip your your ride phase. But you go right back into your battle phase with a whole round of attacks and any effects that trigger on entrance to battle phase, like Anachronis Dragon which is definitely a four of now, especially in this build. Uh, the only downside of this build is it counter blasts a lot, but you you do, you learn to work with it because the card, the card, it's worth it with the counter blast. But Anachronis Dragon, auto gauge zone. At the beginning of your battle phase, if this card is in your regress gauge, counter blast one, it choose a card from your drop, put it face up as a regress gauge. If you put a card, call this card to rear guard. That is not limited to grade three or Liel. So you can actually, if you ride grade two, you can put this guy from your hand into the regress, draw two cards, and then on interest to battle phase, call him out from the regress. It's fire. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with the elements card name, until the end of that battle, this unit gets 5,000 power. If you have three or more regress gauges, you can energy blast two, choose one of your points, regards, and retire it. Solid. It's an 18k beat stick, and you can retire a regard if you have three regress gauges. Easy. We have our persona rides. Named Blazing Demonic Lady Orans. This thing is fire because we play an order focused deck. Auto, when this unit is placed on rear guard, other than by a unit's ability, if you played a normal order this turn, Soul Blast 1, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose a card a, and reveal up to one card with grade less than or equal to your vanguard from among them, call it to the rear guard if a unit, if it's a unit card. And if it's put it into your hand, if it's a normal order, then you shuffle the deck. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater vanguard, Soul Blast three, draw a card and it gets 5,000 power. This is basically their version of Tethfall. Now, Tethfall had the advantage of giving you a strong early game, but this thing is good from turn three on because you're going to play Distorted Bane. It's the most important card in the deck. Now, this one can be swapped around. Steam Gunner Tiskar. This is our energy blast cycle. When it's put, this unit is put on Guardian Circle or discard from hand during the ride phase. Counter Blast 1, Energy Blast 3, or Counter Blast 1 or Energy Blast 3, draw a card. Auto, when this unit is put on Guardian Circle from the hand or discarded from the hand while riding from the ride deck, Counter Blast 1 or Energy Blast 3 and draw a card. When this unit is placed on Rear Guard, if you Persona Row this turn, Counter Blast 1 or Energy Blast 3, and you may Soul Charge 1, and then until end of turn, this unit gets a boost and 5,000 power. The reason we're deciding to run Tiskar is because we had three slots originally, because originally I had four of Ford. 
and we had tried Colossus and it just became such a dead card. Like, cool, the Combo Blast one to draw a card and Soul Charge one. But honestly, the best thing about it was the boost for late game. But Tiskar can fill that role as well as how you, using energy to draw because the only card in the entire deck that energy blasts is Anachronous Dragon for a retire one. So I ended up having a lot of energy I was just not using. So which, which we're putting Tiskar in for now. Soaring Freedom Ford and Rivaltus. I hope I said that right. When this unit is placed on rear guard from your hand, other than during the battle phase, Soul Charge 1, and this unit gets 5,000 power until end of turn. And then kind of Blast 1, perform one of the following. Choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or greater rear guards, retire it. Choose a grade 2 or less card from your soul and call it to rear guard. Obviously, it does have a little bit of spot removal, but the big card you want to play it with is this one. Opening Heart Freen Furia. So this card has an, an, a different name in the actual like game. It's Opening of Heart uh, Philia. So it, had, it has a different name here, so just try to ignore it. But back to the, to the rest of the deck, we have our three PGs. We're playing four of this card because this card is nuts in Leo. So this is their Shenry clone. When this unit boosts, if your opponent has one or less rear guards, or you played an order this turn, this unit gets power plus 5,000 to the end of that battle. At the end of that battle, cost, put this unit soul draw a card. So the cost is optional. So you can keep the 13K booster if you want. Like if you're getting low on deck and you don't want to deck out, you can just keep the 13 gate booster, but you're going to be playing an order every turn. So this is always going to be live. It also helps in the early game because it's a big 13 gate booster. And then we have cards like Ford that can just call it back out over and over again. So you get to abuse this card. Now, I didn't want to do this Avarice Rester, but it just became too important to not do. So the goal of this deck is to play Distorted Bane on turn three and turn four. So you can divine skill on turn four. If you do not see Distorted Bane by two times by turn four, then your Divine Skill becomes so much harder to use. So that's why we're playing four Avarice Res Res uh, Rester, four Distorted Banes, and a shitload of draw power. So we're always going to get it off by turn four. But when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, if you did not play an order this turn, discard a card from hand, search your deck for up to one order without regardless piece, discard it, and it gets... This card can be played from the drop, and when it be put into the drop after playing it, Put it to the bottom of your deck instead until the end of that turn and then shuffle your deck. Well, Distorted Bane doesn't go to the drop. It goes into the Regress Gauge when it's played. So it bypasses that. So you get to discard a card, play Distorted Bane, uh, put Distorted Bane from the deck to the drop, and then you can play Distorted Bane from the drop and put it right into the Regress Gauge. Distorted Bane. Play this if you have a Liel. You may Soul Charge one. That's how you may when you play it. Then you put this card face up into your regress gauge. When this card is put into the regress gauge, you draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets 10,000 power till end of turn. The cool thing about this card is it doesn't care how it went into the regress gauge, you still get the 10,000 power and get to draw the card. It's only basically playing it from hand only gets you the soul charge. So if I use Anachronous Dragon, I can put one of these from the drop zone into the regress gauge to give my vanguard 10k and draw an extra card. I've won many games like that. So up next, we have Unite the Sky. The reason we're running this is because with all the other Regalus pieces, the thing is we're never going to play them because we always want to play Distorted Bane. Like we, if we ended up drawing into Cup, Radiance Caliber, and anything, it becomes a dead card in our hand because we always want to play Distorted Bane. But this is a Blitz Order that's actually kind of decent. You play it with a Counter Blast 1 or an Energy Blast, then you draw a card, you remove this card, and you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 15,000 power. Then if you bind a card with the same name as your Vanguard from the soul or the drop, it becomes a 25k shield instead of a 15k shield. So if you Persona Road, if you had to discard a Liel, or if you soul charge one, which that does have some random soul charging. And then auto, when this card is discarded from hand while riding from the right deck, you can kind of blast one or energy blast three and draw a card and then remove this card. So it's basically like having an extra copy of Tiskar. And then of course, Elementary Sanctitude. As far as our trigger lineup goes, we're not running any draws because this deck has a shitload of draw power and it already has some deck out problems, but we're trying to go for a more aggressive build so that way it doesn't get to the point where we deck out. We're running the red OT here. I, could, I was trying to figure out what the best OT for this deck was. And while I did like the idea of the Dark States OT because we technically have a restanding banger, you only get to restand once. And unless you check it really early, it's kind of the worst of, of the, the actual nation OTs. Whereas we're always going to have a front row, especially with a card like Anachronous Dragon that can call itself out. So the red OT is always going to be live. So that's what we're going for. But this is the deck, guys. Those are the reasons I picked those cards. I hope you like it so far. Let's go find a game. 
All right, guys, we got a game, but it looks like we're going second, which does kind of suck a little bit. I'm going to send back everything minus one of these grade ones. Uh, You know what? Fuck it. We'll send the whole hand back. We need to draw some good cards. Those are decent cards. Oh, we're playing against M.I. Zawa. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we're going to drop Tiskar. We're going to draw for our starter, and then we'll draw for Tiskar. I kind of like that it automatically happens there. So now we're going to go to main phase. We have one of our distorted banes, so we're looking good already. Now, normally I would save these for turn two for more pressure, but we all we do, in fact, want to... Ooh. We could actually be defensive and slow him down at the same time. Because if if we play one of these in the front row, it's going to get attacked. If we play both and don't and choose not to draw this turn. Then they have to discard for a ride. While we also can go for more damage. So, you know what? Why not? Right? Because it's, it's optional to get the draw. So let's go eight to Vanguard. Right, and then 21. All right, so now this is one of the downside to M.I. Zawa's grade one. You can't uh, get the free uh, the free ride because you get a ride if your opponent has one or, uh, one or less rear guards. So now he has to not only discard for ride after just guarding, but all he gets is a soul charge too, which is good for M.I. Zawa, but definitely not what you would prefer. And he just sold soul charge two really good triggers. Ouch. Uh, so this gets bound because of the grade one. So going second is a little bit harder. We need to take we need to slow down the game a little bit. So that's why I don't mind him attacking my grade one. Yep. No guard. Go for it. All right, and they get not a good card for damage. All right, we'll take that one. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. I thought you had to be on a grade three for that. Yeah, wow. I was playing that card wrong. All right, so that gives us our guaranteed second one. So... For this one, he's going to get a restand, but he's not going to get an extra, extra critical. So I think we drop and ride here and then skill. I'm going to put the other Odium into the regress gauge because by turn four, we're going for game anyway. And we got another one, so we're fine. I do not want to overcommit here, so we're just going to go straight to battle phase and swing. And we get to heal. Nice. All right. So what does this thing do? When this card is discarded from hand, if you have a Vanguard, agree to agree. So bless one, call this card. Okay. shit about what's in my drop i don't have any cards to get cards back from my drop anyway so he's gonna bind all my cards in my drop i assume he's doing a deck search i guess he revealed the deck by accident all right so i gotta buy one from drop so bind all right so now I bind two more from draw, binds, bind. Now I'm probably not going to guard anything. <laughs> I mean, I could guard the Vanguard just to reduce the damage. This is a pretty weak field here. So 
So maybe I just keep the damage to a minimum. I didn't see any of my Acronis Dragons, which does kind of suck a little bit. Okay, he called a booster. Now we're definitely not guarding. We'll guard the second swing, if anything. Uh, they got a heal trigger. So we might have to slow down the Divine Skill. Normally, I would go straight for turn four, but maybe not this time. All right. And then they got the trigger, so of course they're going to give it to Vanguard. Oh, that's cute. But it can't attack. <laughs> So it's like, what's the point? That's not, that's not a good card. Oh, because it can boost. Gotcha. That's, I mean, that's cute until uh, M.I. Zal gets her new booster. And that's going to be 28. All right, no guard. Two heals in a row, though. That's just... That's just this game... You know, give me the finger like it always does. And now they get to bind both of these because I had to guard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little salty, a little salty. All right. Uh, because we're going to have to wait till turn five now because they're they healed down to zero. Oops. We have to we have to play this a little differently. All right, we go to main phase skill. We will soul charge this time. We did just soul charge another distorted bane. Put it into the regress gauge. Draw a card. Vanguard gains 10k. Where are my combo pieces? This is probably like the worst game I've ever had. All right, let's check a top five. All right, at least we got a Necronish Dragon. And now he's going to get plus 10k. She's going to get plus 5k. I wish I could do more right now, but I can't. So we're just going to swing in. We got to get as much damage on the board as we can. All right, triple drive. One, two. Thank you, Jeebus. Three. All right, and then skill. We're gonna soul blast three. Wait, did I not soul blast first? Go. I did. Whoops. I can't use that skill. Okay, my bad. I forgot to soul blast for her skill. All right. I guess we could see how much damage we can pull out on our next turn and decide from there if we want to uh, go for our divine skill or not. We'll have it set on our next turn. Ooh, that's not good. We'll just take that. And then they're gonna restand. Are they just gonna call another booster? Yeah, I don't think that's a clever strat. Cause like, yeah, it's gonna be 23, which is cute. But I'm just gonna go 33. Now they need OT to pass. All right, let's. Ooh, good top deck. Persona ride. What's in my soul? Nothing great. Um, let's go with avarice skill. I'm gonna get rid of this because we need it. We need to build a board. We'll dump distorted bane. Guffle. So now we can use distorted bane. We're just going to put it straight into the regress gauge. We're not going to soul charge. We are going to draw. We are going to give our Vanguard 10k. Now we're going to call another Orange. Orange skill, soul blast one. 
checked out five. Um, call another Acronis. I kind of don't mind that. Or, you know what? We'll call this. We'll use skill. Soul charge one. Oh, the top deck. That top deck was crazy. And because we played in order this turn, this gets 5k. And now this gets 10k because I have two distorted banes. And we will energy blast three. Uh, energy blast seven, I'm sorry. To draw an extra card, we got an extra Acronis Dragon. That's perfect. Because now we will proceed to battle phase. We will swing skill. Bind. I think we are going to persona. We are going to do our divine skill here. Yep, that's fine. So that that guards my attack. One, two, three. Critical. Uh, I think we're going to go all effects here. And then we're going to divine skill. So we're going to discard two cards. That's going to trigger our divine skill after after we're done. So now we're going to go 53 for two. And then we're going to go 38 for one. We're going to burn through all of their resources. That's fine. And then skill. So we draw for turn. We go straight to our battle phase. Whoops. That's going to go to the drop. We're going to call it double Acronis Dragon because they're bigger. Uh, reveal. Counterblast, counterblast. Call. And call. We're going to put another distorted Bane into the regress and that into the regress. And now Distorted Bane goes off, letting us draw another card, giving our Vanguard another 10k. And now our front row gains 20k power. And this gains 5k power. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to swing Vanguard skill. Drop the Tiskar. Well, put the Tiskar into the regress gauge. My bad. So now we get we still get Twin Drive another pg all right twin drive first check second check that's fine we can't kill them this turn but we could definitely put the damage on board uh skill we're gonna energy blast two retire and then we're gonna swing all right skill to the soul and we will draw one i do not see him killing us now <laughs> We're at three damage. We have this much, this many cards in hand. We burn through most of their defense. The only thing that's going to suck is rebuilding a board after this. It's going to be a little tough. Because now he's going to bind a bunch of our rear guards. I guess it really depends on what they can call out now. Okay, so they're using Farheart to call Grand One from the drop. All right, Shenry. They didn't play in order, so Shenry doesn't work yet. Uh, I see what you're going for. I'll guard that. 
I would have guarded if they went Vanguard anyway. Their build's not great. Alright. Um, now they're going to Vanguard. They're going with a crit. Because they Persona rolled this turn. So... We're going to go like this. So that's a no pass. Alright. And we'll guard that too. No reason to let him go, right? Good top deck. Persona ride. Main phase. We'll play our last distorted bane. Again, no soul charge. We have we're running low on deck. So we draw. Vanguard gains 10k. And now our front row has a passive 20k. So it's gonna have he's gonna have 20k plus five. We're gonna call for some extra power. Mm, yeah, we'll call it there. Power plus five, and we'll call Tiskar and use Tiskar's skill. One, two, three. She gains 5k. And then she also gains 20k. All right. We're gonna go battle phase. Swing in, skill. Uh, you know what? No skill. We gotta slow down how many cards we're going through. <laughs> All right, that's 43, 48, one to pass. Uh, am I high? That's 33, 53, 50, oh, it's two to pass, okay. So heal trigger, we'll go heal to a Cronus and critical trigger. 58, 68, 53, 63. Just in case they got a PG. And then we'll go swing. Oh, no skill because we don't have any energy left. Uh, This one has the crit. I think we get it now. Yep. GG. Thankfully, you did get to see all the stuff the deck does as you see it does still get a little bit like of a time problem because you, you're drawing so many cards you're seeing so many cards you will live through just about anything but you got to kill your opponent as fast as possible at that point even if we didn't kill them this turn we did have at least one more turn but we would have, would have had to take no damage next turn so that way we didn't burn through our deck maybe i think we could take one because we have six cards left in deck, one would have put us at five, would have drew for turn, and then we would have still had twin drive. All right, guys, that's it for the deck. Let me know how you guys feel about the deck. Let me know what you guys think of the build. While the beginning of that game didn't go as well as I would have hoped, the later half of the game, you guys got to see just how powerful this deck can get. Uh, obviously, the Fords to keep on using the Furias. Uh, the orange to help us build a board and to draw us more cards we had so much defense that we just weren't gonna die we stayed at three damage the whole game and like i could have easily manipulated my counter blast a little bit if i needed to use something like ford or even a chronos dragon i didn't need to use two of them but he has a pretty big beat stick 18k base when you're at grade three 23 with one distorted bane we had all four so he was a massive 38k by himself with no other boosts like by the end of that, we were at full power and we were just putting our opponent to sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for everybody that tuned in. What deck I'll be messing with next, I don't know. Let me know in the comments which, which decks you guys want to see me mess with on, on the channel. I did hear about Gandiva Masks and your boy is interested. You guys know I've played Gandiva. While it's not my favorite Dragon Empire deck, I do have some fun with it and I will be on the lookout for that effect so that way I can upgrade that. So keep, stay tuned for that. As I said before, if you guys want to see me play Vanguard live, twitch.tv slash Zafikel or right here on YouTube. I usually stream every Tuesday, but uh, my schedule has been a little all over the place from my because of my new work schedule. It's a rotating schedule, so 
keep an eye on the YouTube, the Twitch, or the Twitter. I always post when I'm going to stream, and I've been, you know, posting my stream schedule for the week each week now. If you guys want to check me out on social media, those links will be down below. That is it for me. I'll catch you guys on this video. Later.